What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number six of the Hardcore Group Iron Man series. Apparently, in the last video at the start, I said Hardcore Ultimate Iron Man series or something. I don't know, guys. I've been playing this for so much, so at this point, I don't know what's going on anymore. This is what my stats are looking like right now. In the last video, I did everything I needed to be able to start blackjacking, including unlocking birdhouse runs, and I'm going to be starting with that right now. This is still a normal birdhouse run, but I'm ready to start using oaks. End of another birdhouse run up to level 17, meaning I got from 9 to 17 hunter off two regular log birdhouse runs. I also got my first seed nest. I'm going to open here and see what we get a uh, curry tree seed. I'm going to need at least like 1,500 to 2,000 wines for all the blackjacking that I'm going to do. Normally what I do is I just run up to the store and buy them from there between uh, when I run out. I tried that yesterday and there's so many people blackjacking me that store is empty. So I had to think about other stores to use and I remembered I used this store here in Hossi during Twisted League and it's also really close to the bank. I'm going to stop here. Almost 700 wines. The rest of these are going to come from Zulu. He's going to be buying grapes from the RFD chest and using them to level cooking and when he's done he's just going to give them to me. It has been another 50 minutes so it's time for another birdhouse run up to level 20 hunter from that birdhouse run now i'm gonna get everything i need ready and i'll see you guys over in poly it's been a long grind to get here but we finally are ready to start doing some blackjacking first thing i want to mention here is i have all my noted wines on me i just have to use my noted items on him and then do exchange all and he'll unnote them for me so i never have to leave here actually that's not true i'm still gonna be doing birdhouse runs and that's the reason i have my ring of dueling on since i'm level 50 i need to thieve the bearded bandits until level 55 it looks like there's already one lured in this house too if you guys do this um this is in my opinion the best house to use because you can blackjack them over here and for some reason you mess up your clicks and it starts attacking you you can just go up the ladder to lose the aggro and go back down and continue thieving i'm going to do an hour of this and show you guys the xp rates afterwards really quick tip i want to give you guys is when you're blackjacking here when you knock them out and they say they're going to kill you if you try to knock them out again really quickly you'll be able to continually thieve them if you try to thieve them instead of re-knock them out afterwards there's a chance you'll fail and then you have to sit there stunned it makes your xp per hour a lot lower it's been 50 minutes so i want to show you guys what i'm going to be doing every single time i need to do a bird run also up to 54 thieving four levels so far so i'm going to do is use my ring of dueling to teleport to the ferrock enclave also another thing i forgot was to get my ring of life thankfully i went back and got that before I started thieving and when I'm up here I'm gonna gear myself for my birdhouse run then just gonna teleport to fossil island and do it as usual 23 hunter from this one more level and I can start using the next tier of birdhouses when that's done I'm going to teleport back to the enclave again then I'm gonna refill my inventory with wines and I actually need to change tabs for this to make this easier but I'm gonna take out the teleport runes to teleport to my house I put my house in poly so all I have to do is run back over here and uh, yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing every 50 minutes for my birdhouses 55 thieving and that is the level that I need to move on to the next level of bandits I think it's the guys with the simi so it'd be these guys right here I need to relore one of them into this house. I'll show you guys my um, XP counter on the screen right now. It's been nearly an hour I'm about to get level 60. So I decided just to stop here uh, also, my cash tag is up to 201k, making a little bit more than my XP per hour here, so it's probably about 140 to 150k. These XP rates can even go up to 250k once I do Mena Fights, which I'll be switching to at level 65. I'm up to 62 thieving now, about halfway to 63. I have food coming, which means I'm gonna go AFK some more sand crabs. Nice little AFK session here, up to 48 hit points, and I'm about to hit level 50 defense. I was thinking about this too, and I have level 10 farming. It would be nice if I could start farming my seeds that I get from my birdhouse runs. I really don't want to leave my farming solo. I should be doing it passively. I'm going to be doing three really quick quests that allow me to start farming acorns. Uh, there's the level 50, so I'm going to go do those three quests. Like I said, three easy quests. There's Cook's Assistant completed, Goblin Diplomacy completed, and finally there's the first sub-quest of Recipe for Disaster done, and that got me up to level 14 farming. I still need 15 to plant my acorns, and I, I guess I'll just get the 246 XP from the compost runs. Back to blackjacking though, I'm currently at level 62, and I need to get to 65 to move to the next tier of bandits. 65 thieving, this is the level that I need to start thieving Menify thugs i am going to try to pickpocket them now uh, starting off this level i'm going to be failing a lot since i literally just unlocked them i'm getting 140 kxp per hour at these i'm going to test those and if the xp per hour is lower i might just do these all the way up until level 70 i also got the 15 farming that i was trying to get so i was able to plant five acorns yeah so i'm definitely going to stay here all the way till 99 i'll show you guys my xp counter on the screen right now i'm getting almost near max rates at level 65 already birdhouses are crazy for xp i've been doing this for probably almost a day and i'm already level 34 and with this level i can now move on to doing teak birdhouses another little update for you guys just hit level 70 thieving and i'm also still holding around 200k xp per hour over about an hour and a half to two hours so zulu needed some money and since i have so much on me i almost hit a mill 
I'm going to be giving him 250k here, and of course, it's a fair trade, uh, 250k for one iron ore. Level 75 thieving, and my cash deck is at 738k. I also started using lobsters here. Zulu traded me some lobsters and swordfish since I ran out of wines. Uh, he is going to be going and getting me some more of those later, but for now, this food works fine, since they heal around the same anyway. Even doing acorns consistently, I'm getting a ton of farming levels. That's level 27. Also, I unlocked a level in here to do Harlanders. I'm pretty sure I have some seeds from Wintertide for those, and I wanted to start doing some herb runs on top of my oaks. Also, I unlock willows at 30, and I have 15 or so of those. I want to be able to plant at least four of these seeds minimum, and for that, I really want to unlock the Artie Teleport to make my life easier. I need to get 51 magic for that. I have a ton of money now. I have 883k even after giving 250k away. I'm just going to go to the mage training arena and get 49 to 51. It won't cost like anything. I have a lot of coins to deposit. 10,000 of them. I'm level 50 and that is level 52. Almost level 53. I said I was going to get the level for the Artie Teleport. I figured since I have a ton of GP now, I might as well just stay here until High Elk, which is level 55. So I went and bought a little bit more Nature Runes. I didn't know about this until Zulu told me, but you see this little arrow right here um, next to the sidebar? If the arrow is pointing to this, it means it's going to be a free Elk. So I have 194 Nature Runes. If I Elk the Rune Sword, since that's where the arrow is, I'll still have 194 Nature Runes. The only thing is, uh, on the sidebar, like you'll see right now, it's 1 GP. So I still only get 1 GP from it. It's a lot less XP per hour, but it saves you a lot of money if you're doing this at lower levels. Detour here, Alkin is down to 10k, so I'm going to have to give him... I'm going to give him 250, you know? I'm going to be nice to, to get a little Alkin there. And he gives me an emerald, so... <laughs> Alkin gave me an emerald in exchange for 250k, and Zulu gave me an iron ore. <laughs> Level 55 magic, I can high elk anything I want now. I'm gonna go do my herb run, my tree run, and also my birdhouse run, and then head back to thieving. I checked and realized that I had two apple seeds in my bank, so I'm gonna go and plant those as well. I think I'm gonna get a level from doing this. Yeah, there's level 30, which means I could plant my willow trees. I had 16 of these, but I gave five of them to Zulu, so I'm still able to plant 11 more. Really random jump, but at this point, if you guys ever see me doing anything in sand crabs, just assume it's because I was either editing or eating. There's level 50 HP, also level 44 hunter, which means I can start making some maple birdhouses. Had to give another 150k to Alfie since he was almost out of money as well. Doing this method has um, actually saved my team a lot of time already. These willow trees are insane for low level XP. As you can see in my chat box here, Every single tree I check health on is getting me a farming level. Like, it's so much XP. Up to level 79 thieving now. Uh, this is something I wanted to show you guys. So I grew all my willow trees and then I waited an extra 30 minutes. And the reason I did that is because you need 12 branches for the Enlightened Journey quest and also for the Falador Diary. So... I decided just to get these now, and I'm going to be getting a bunch of extras in case my teammates need any. I decided to include this little clip here of Alfie completing Recipe for Disaster. Yes, he was really tired when he did this, but he wanted to complete RFD before he got off. It was uh, really scary to watch because he was around 52 HP, and the second to last boss can max like a 40. You have to keep your mouse over your food ready to combo eat at all times. I'm going to show you guys a uh, little clip. I'm thinking about changing around the way I record these clips a little bit more. I've had a lot of comments asking me to include more of my team talk talking and like uh, discussions we have and stuff. This one's a little more trolly. It uh, has to do with the group storage that is coming out after the system update. And we're pretty much going to troll Alfie by putting a bunch of random stuff in there because he's asleep right now and he's going to wake up and check it and hopefully we're going to get a good reaction. So uh, I'll show you guys that clip right now and uh, just let me know if you want to see uh, more random things like that scattered throughout the videos. We could do 73 or something. Yeah. <laughs> I got 73 anchovies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's a good idea. 73 of 80 items. <laughs> it's actually oh, an amazing idea. God. Watch the group story. should not be working, though. We're just we're planning this, but it's not either going to say it doesn't work. Yeah, they're going to be like, dude, to an inconvenience, we had to push back the group storage again. Another year. <laughs> Another year. Due to an inconvenience, the group storage is you know permanently disabled. We will actually be disabling group Iron Man until we can resolve this. Sadly, both my teammates got off because there was a 15-minute maintenance after the worlds went down. Uh, this is what the group storage looks like. I wasn't quite able to find 80 things to fill this with, uh, but 25 out of 80 of all 73s should be pretty nice for Alfie to wake up to. Hopefully, he starts his stream before he sees this, though, so I can get a reaction to it. Level 80, thieving. Uh, so at this point now I have 460k and I've given I think about 1.1 mil away So I've made probably like 1.7 mil because I've spent a lot of money on runes too um, Quick shout out to everybody in the CC right now. It's currently 4 o'clock in the morning So there's not many people in here 
Uh, but shout out to all these guys in the chat. Uh, I'm gonna be ending the video here. I need to go to sleep. I'm so freaking tired. I'll show you guys all our stats on the screen. Um, we're still rank one. Uh, Alfie hit 1.2k total. He's actually crazy. And uh, I'm getting really close to 1k total as well, even though I still have one ranged, one rune crafting, and uh, nine slayers. So when I finish doing thieving, I'll be able to get a ton of free levels, and we should increase our lead on the high scores. I'm literally going to be spending the entire day tomorrow thieving, so I won't be able to get a lot of clips recorded. So it's going to be minimum another two days before you guys see the next video. Per usual, thank you guys so much for this. Again, let me know what you think about me showing more of my teammates talking and stuff in future videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video.